today's video is on fonts. This time we are going to talk about the different types of fonts. Is it an OTF or a TTF or a letter set? And if that all sounds like gibberish to you, then this is the perfect video for you. I'm going to purchase a font from Etsy and download it and then upload it to um, either Cricut Design Space or Silhouette Studio. Either one will work and I will show you how to do both so that you know where, where to get started and how to do it. So I'm on one of my favorite font designers shop on Etsy. And if you didn't know that you can buy fonts on Etsy, this is a great video for you. So Dixie Type Co, you can see that she has a ton of hand lettered files that are either fonts or SVGs that are letter sets. And she has almost 8,000 sales. So you can see that people have tried her fonts and she has great reviews. So I am just going to pick a popular font that I know I love and it's called Fresh Linens. Now you'll notice that there's different types of files. So these ones say SVG font, while these ones say .otf font. So OTF stands for open type font, which is a type of font that you would use on your keyboard and type something and it would create a word. Whereas SVG fonts, what we're going over today, it's actually a set of letters that you upload to either Cricut Design Space or Silhouette Studio, and then you can rearrange to make your words. So we're gonna do an SVG font today, and I'm gonna show you how to purchase and download it so that we are good to go. So we're gonna click on the font, and one thing I wanted to call out is that this font, normally it's only $5.50, right now it's on sale for $4.40, and I know that a lot of people don't wanna pay for fonts, but I wanna remind you, or if you don't know, a lot of the time people forget that an actual human is drawing these letter sets or fonts. So by purchasing a font, we are directly supporting this person's small business. So I love supporting small businesses, and I like to remind myself, what if somebody saw one of my crafts and said, oh, actually, I don't wanna pay for that. You should give it to me for free. I would be kind of shocked. So I try to think through that when I'm buying fonts that I don't expect to get a font for free. And with this Dixie Type Co. company, you actually can come down here and you can read all about the purchasing agreements. So this one, for example, is for personal use only. But if you wanted to sell a project using this Fresh Linens SVG font, you actually can buy a commercial license from Dixie Type Co. So it's a little bit more, but then you can sell your projects using that font and then you're protected as a crafter and a business owner. So there's that. Um, we're gonna buy this and go through the checkout process. So let's get started by following the personalization requirements from this font. So. A message from the shop owner, it says, hi, this is an SVG font. This format opens with all letters in one document. If you're looking for an installable font, check out the OTF font sections. Just add a simple yes to confirm you understand this purchase and you can message the shop owner if you have questions. So we're just gonna type in yes here and then we're gonna say add to cart. Then you can see that it's um, on sale and it says that we'll get a PNG and two other files included. So since I have downloaded the files before, I know that we'll get an SVG and a DXF file. So I'm gonna check out using PayPal. You can check out using a credit card and we're gonna go ahead and go through the checkout process. Once you've confirmed the payment method, we're going to place our order. And I recommend favoriting this shop because you'll wanna come back for more fonts. So it looks like you don't get the font right away, but don't worry, if you click on this link here, you can view your digital files. The file types include a DXF, which is a vector file that you can use with Silhouette Studio if you don't have business edition and can't import an SVG. You also have a PNG file, which you can use with both Cricut and Silhouette. And then you have an SVG file that I recommend using for Cricut. So to get started, you're just going to click the download icon. So I'm gonna download the DXF and the SVG since I want to show you on both Silhouette and Cricut. I recommend minimizing your window so that you can just take the file from the download bar and drop them right onto your desktop. 
that makes it really easy so that you can just download them and find them when you're uploading them to Cricut Design Space and Silhouette Studio. So I'm going to start with Cricut's Design Space. So I'm going to open up Design Space and I'm on a blank canvas. On the left hand side, you will see an upload icon. Click on the upload icon and then choose upload image. You'll notice that you can use a PNG, JPEG, a GIF, SVG, DF, DXF, and a .bmp. So tons of files to choose from. Don't let that overwhelm you. I am going to recommend uploading that SVG file. So click on the SVG and click open. It'll come in just like any other SVG where you can see the entire image. That's what makes this font document or font file interesting. So instead of being an open type font where you're using the keyboard to type out the letters, you are seeing every letter as its own separate image. Go ahead and click save and it'll appear in your recently uploaded images. To insert it, select it, a green box will appear around it and then click insert images. All of the letters will come onto your canvas and you can click ungroup. Once you've ungrouped your image, you can use all of these letters just like you would as a font. So you're going to grab the letters that you want to spell out the word that you're trying to spell. I want to spell out happy, so I'm going to select the H. On my keyboard, I'm going to click the command while still holding down click C to make a copy, and then click command and while still holding down click V to make a duplicate copy of my image. You can also click on the letter and up at the top, just click duplicate and I'll also make a copy. So whatever you prefer, you can continue to copy and paste the letters that you need. So command C and command V. I could also make it from this copy. And you can see that I will just continue making copies of the letters. I personally like to keep the entire image on my canvas so that I can spell out whatever word I'd like. Now I'm gonna change this to a different color. Let's do pink. So you can see that every letter is an individual layer or image. You can also add cute little flourishes to the end of your word. So if I wanted to add a little flourish on this side, I could add a tail and I could add a tail to the other side. So you can really customize this to be however you want it to look. I could also reflect those and turn them the different ways. So you can make it really custom, which I love. A lot of open type fonts, you can't access the characters within design space, so it makes it a little tricky. So I am going to leave this font flourish free, but I just wanted to show you that you can add flourishes and make it super cute. So now I'm gonna arrange my letters to be however I want. If I want the P's to be different sizes or layer them a little bit different, whatever makes you happy. So now you can see that my font comes in and it's this cute brush lettered font. So it's intentionally a little bit wobbly, which I love because it gives it that handwritten look. So now I have my letters ready to be welded together since right now, if I were to cut this, they would all be cut in different pieces. So I'm gonna highlight everything. And while everything is selected, you can see that all of these are highlighted. I'm going to come over to the layers panel and click weld. You can also right click and weld. And the great part about that is that if I wanted to change and make a change to my happy, I still have access to all the letters on my canvas. So I'm going to leave these on my canvas because if I come back and want to add words, I'm just going to group them together. And with the eye icon, I'm just going to hide them. So I'm going to turn off the eye. So when I come back, if I want to add additional letters or words or flourishes, whatever I want to add, I still have access to those. Then I'm going to click make it. And you can see that my word is welded together, all one piece and ready to cut. Now, let's say I wanna start a new project. I'm just going to replace this, I don't need to save that. But say I wanna use that letter set and I don't know how to find it again. You actually don't need to re-upload it. You can come to your images and click browse all. And then under ownership right here, click on the plus sign and filter to upload it. My uploaded images will come up. I can also search fresh linen since that's what I saved it as and it'll come up just like that. So even if I wasn't filtered, I can say, let's X out of this. If I search in all images, I can search fresh linens. 
and it will come up. So there's several ways to find it. I also can find it by navigating to my upload panel and clicking it here. So there's several ways to find that. You do not need to upload it every time. And then I can just click on it and start my next project by ungrouping and welding everything together. So it's really simple to use and that's the gist of how you use it in Cricut's design space. Now, if you're a Silhouette user, let's go to Silhouette Studio. And on the Design tab, I'm going to say Open, and we're just going to open that DXF file. I can also just drag it onto my canvas, so whatever you prefer. It may take a couple of seconds for it to load in. This is a big file, so just give it a couple of seconds. So we are going to save this to our library first since we did something similar in Cricut. So I want to do the exact same thing in Silhouette Studio. So up at the top, we're going to choose file and then say save as and save to library. In my user's designs, I'm just going to save this and click OK. Once the window closes out, we can check to make sure it's saved in our library. And you can see right here that it's queued to save and sync so that it syncs to the cloud and every time I log in, and you can see now it's done, I can navigate to my designs, my user designs, and I can use this from Silhouette Studio. Again, I don't have to upload it every single time. So now I'm ready to start making my copies and spelling out my word. So I'm going to move this off my cut mat and I'm going to start spelling out my word. So just like Cricut, I'm going to Command C, Command V, and make my copies. The only difference with Silhouette Studio, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see, is that all of the letters come in and you can see that the inside also needs to be selected. So if I just select the outside and make a copy, I just get the entire outline and don't get the insides. So I wanna make sure to select both the inside and the outside before I make my copy and then I can move that over. Then I'm going to continue on and grab all of the different letters. Just like I did before. So you can make your word look as fancy as you want. I'm gonna be a little bit boring and just spell it happy again, but again, you can use the same flourishes and all that good stuff. So now it's, a, again, just a slight difference on Silhouette Studio. So I'm going to make sure that all my insides are selected and adjust the spacing until I'm happy. Oops, forgot my little tail. So once I have everything selected, I'm going to highlight the main outside portion of my word. So the insides right now are not selected. And then I'm gonna open the Modify panel and click Weld you'll see that now the images are all welded together so it's one piece. And then if I were to change the color right now, I just wanna to explain to you the importance of compound pass. It doesn't really make a difference when you cut, but understanding the concept is helpful, at least to me. So I'm gonna highlight everything and I'm going to change the fill to pink just like it was in Cricut. And you'll notice that the insides, you can't really see them, but that's okay because if you just right click on this image, and click Make Compound Path, it basically makes it a path and it tells the program that you don't want those insights to be filled and you want them to be transparent. So I, if I move this over here, you can see that I can see through to the background. So now the image looks exactly how I want it to look and it's ready to be cut. I can leave the letter set to the left and since it's off the cutting area, it will not affect my design. So I can go ahead and cut this and I'm ready to go. Okay, I quickly wanted to mention that I recommend the DXF file if you are using the free version of Silhouette Studio. If you have designer or business edition, you'll wanna bring in the SVG file. So you'll just wanna bring that same SVG file in that we did upload for Cricut and it will make it a lot easier when you are ungrouping and putting it back together. So with the SVG, all of the images, the insides are already a compound path. So it makes it a lot easier when you're welding it together. So you can see that I don't have to worry about those insides and it just makes it a ton easier. So I'm just gonna quickly show you how much easier it is with designer or business edition. 
So if you have been wondering if you should upgrade, you should absolutely upgrade. And I will put a link to um, a affiliate link to 651 Vinyl where you can buy business edition for a discounted rate. And since it's an affiliate link, I do earn a small commission if you buy through that link, which directly supports this channel. So here's the image and now watch how quickly I can just weld this together. Everything selected and it's good to go. So that is a benefit of having designer or business edition because you can just bring in that SVG right off the bat. So I just wanted to call that out as to why I uploaded the DX the DXF file to Silhouette Studio. And that's because a lot of people only have that free edition. But if you have designer or business, SVG all of the way. All right, so that is everything I wanted to show you. Again, the Etsy shop that I purchased this from is called Dixie Type Co. And you can see that this is the Fresh Linens brush lettered font. It's a, dist a distressed script, like I said, so it does look very hand drawn, which I love. It is different than a OTF font. It's an SVG font, so each letter comes in as a separate image, which I love because it makes using the extra flourishes and everything super simple. So you'll have to comment below and let me know if you end up buying an SVG font. Hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below or check out some of my social media sites and I will be happy to get any questions answered. Thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next video.